Now, one of the dangers posed by earthquakes is liquefaction. Liquefaction happens when strong shaking loosens the ground soil, sending water and mud spewing to the surface. Homeowners in New Zealand are learning something else. If it's happened once, it will happen again. NHK World's Hiromi Krosaka reports from Christchurch. Walking the empty street near her home, Sue Holmes is alone. No cars on the road, no children in the yards, no people in the houses. It's like walking through a ghost town. The gentleman that lived here used to be a car, was a retired car salesman, him and his wife, and another lot that everybody's gone. Liquefaction has turned Holmes' neighbourhood into a scene of desolation. Some 40 families used to live here. Now they're just two. So we thought with a big sign there, people will know we're still here. Holmes must have stayed. Christchurch is her hometown. But she's faced with a natural disaster that never seems to end. Christchurch seems to be a city under siege. No less than four powerful earthquakes have shaken the surrounding area in the last year and a half. Buildings in ruins and many streets underwater. The quake started in September 2010. Each one has triggered liquefaction and Holmes neighborhood has been hit every time. This whole area used to be a wetlands. Reclaimed land is especially vulnerable when the ground starts shaking. This is Holmes' house before the quake. The lawn and the garden were her pride and joy. The first liquefaction left her yard covered in a blanket of mud. Then five months later, her house sunk into the ground. Mud gushed through her doors. It's horrifying. It's those few seconds at the time when the ground shakes is Padma, but it's what comes after the shake which is worse. In all, more than 20,000 homes and buildings have been affected by liquefaction. The government is helping those worse affected. It has offered to buy 6,800 homes. Residents in the hardest hit areas have been asked to move out. Holmes has decided to take the offer and leave her home for good. It's changed landscape and it's changed lives and broken my hearts. When's it going to end and when's life going to start? I feel like this is a nightmare and I'd like to wake up. Really? Officials are working on plans to reinforce the affected land. But the relentless aftershocks keep adding to the problem. The challenge really first off was to understand what is the issues, why has this land performed in the way it has, so it's really science based, why did the, why did the land fail in the way it has failed, um, so that was the initial challenge and that's still um, an ongoing challenge. Authorities are struggling to find an answer. For now, people like Sue Holmes have no choice but restart their lives on the firmer ground. Hiram Kurosaka, NHK World, Christchurch. Japan is also struggling to deal with liquefaction triggered by last year's disaster. The government has sent experts to New Zealand for joint research.